All week, our parent company, EW Scripps, is teaming up with the News Literacy Project to shine a light on information sharing and knowing who to trust. And tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn takes us to Greeley West High School, where a student-run news operation is catching the attention of alumni. For these students... Introduce yourself. The news gathering process includes some serious topics. Um, what do you want to tell Joe Biden right now? Combined with a little entertainment... Well, it has four legs, but does it move? ...and humor. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah. I really wanted to find new stories and new perspectives about what was happening and just kind of making the news more fun while also informative and kind of just writing about everything. Some and exciting to others, but we'll talk a little bit more about Tanyan is anchoring the Greeley West High School newscast this semester. Making sure that a lot of students are heard and teachers as well. Usually it's about 15 to 20 minute um, video. We usually have two main stories and then we have kind of info section and commercial breaks and stuff. A newscast they're putting together in a closet thanks to senior Nathaniel Rudolph's push to launch a school newscast, initially using his own equipment to make it happen. And we actually got our inspiration from Mead High School um, where they started theirs and I was like, I think we could um, do, this. do this and make it really professional. And I actually really enjoyed writing these stories and um, my teacher, Mr. Falter, he actually enjoyed reading my stories. Just be in the back of your brain thinking, okay, what follow-up question can I ask? Their social studies teacher, kind of Dave Falter, who moonlights as a journalism teacher, is behind them 100%. We learn by doing and by making mistakes, right, with future journalists. Like, you're going out, I'd rather they learn by doing than just me standing in the front of a classroom telling them. This is National News Literacy Week, which makes the expanding journalism story here at Greeley West. The memories attached to this building. All the more relevant and important. I would say that we aren't really afraid to dive into those deeper kinds of stories. We kind of like to keep our focus um, on the school and telling stories about the students and um, informing the world kind of about what the students here are doing because not, not many people and community members get to see that. I'm back in school these past few weeks. This closet is just the beginning. Next year, Greeley West is moving into a brand new building currently under construction right next to the old school. The journalism program will move from a closet into a new space in the new building, including a real studio for newscasts. We'll have a, an entire room dedicated to video production. A program that is quickly growing its audience beyond the walls of West High. You look at the numbers behind the scenes of who's watching stuff sometimes, and there's a lot of grads, and there's a lot of community members from Greeley West. So it's, it's also teaching them a valuable lesson that, hey, they care about what's going on at the World High School, too. Right now, I'm writing a story about um, honor, uh, honor ban. Students following the Scripps News literacy slogan this year, care before you share, meaning their stories and sources are properly vetted and researched. My best memory at West? Information their viewers and readers inside and outside the school can trust. Thank you, Ruthie, for that compelling story, and we are so excited to welcome you to the newscast team. In Greeley. It's really fun and exciting. Russell Haythorn. And I love doing it. Denver 7.